Okay, Lon Friend and Lisa S. Johnson talking to the great Glenn Hughes, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, and my friend. Yes, Thank you. Sir. Yes. And we want to discuss your bass, your favorite bass guitar, the one that you hold closest to your heart. Wow. You know, um, there's so bloody damn many of them. People always say, how many basses have you got? Because a lot of bass players only play one bass, but I've got a few of them. But I think... Um, How about top three? Yeah, well, 65 Fender Precision, original, you know, really... I mean, you hear that on a lot of uh, Black Country albums and Glenn Hughes solo albums, you know. 62 Jazz Bass, which is really a signature sound for me. And the Rickenbacker from Burn. Right. Yeah, that's the one. Both of those, those three basses are iconically the sound of, of you, what you hear of Glenn. Yeah. Fantastic. So, um, what about Fretless? Yeah, I got Fretless. I'm not a Fretless player, but I do play it. I mean, I don't like say I'm a Fretless player, but I still like to have a go in the Fretless. I've, I've played Fretless on albums. But it's something that's not my forte, but I really love to hear fretless. Yeah. When you were growing up in England, and I want to thank you again for talking to me about Paul Rogers. That was a great interview. When you were growing up in England, what, what was the first guitar you owned? And who gave it to you? The first guitar I owned was a plastic Elvis Presley guitar, 1963. And then I had a wooden acoustic guitar, then I had a Futurama electric guitar, English version of an American guitar. Then I had the next one after that would have been, woohoo, would have been a, um, a Rickenbacker. Well, Elvis Presley's guitar will be in my next book. Well, it, it was a, a plastic bought in a gift shop, you know, like for, two dollars or something my mom bought it for me and the plastic strings and nylon strings it, it was just a piece of plastic but the idea for me to get that guitar and learn and to feel that maybe just maybe maybe this is for me right so well, who was one of your first influences who was one of your most major influence uh beatles all, all the way completely all the way so did you ever own uh one of those bases? I've got one, yeah. I've got a couple of them. Um, I mean, I'm an avid, an avid fan of bass players. So I'm very lucky enough to have selected a few guitars that speak to me. Yeah. Right on. So what's your number one right now? Like, if you, were, if you could you know, play, my you were going to play tonight, which one goes with you everywhere? My number one bass right now is a 63 Bill Nash P bass. And do any of them have any stories like it got lost or stolen and you got it back or... Do... Not yet, they haven't had any stories yet. But there's going to be a lot coming up. That's it, Glenn. That was easy, huh? Just the guitar. We're so proud and honored to have you here with us for yeah, five thank minutes. You so much. It's the best five minutes of our day. Thanks, man.